All right, um, so now all the gold patterns are in place and uh, make sure you cover most of the areas, area that you like or um, take a few step back and kind of check and see uh, if it be easy enough or you need to apply some more. But anyway, if you're happy with that, and now let's go back to the white. We'll try to go underneath where the gold is and try to highlight um, highlight the background a little bit. So by using the small brush again and just go over, I mean under the gold line and just roll, roll and roll and you just pull straight down no matter um, okay after that the same beat up brush use the end tap do not pull down yet just tap well actually kind of tap and kind of forces down a little bit but don't slide them down just tap because you want to break the bubble that that is up above there okay and then some dry rag or uh, paper towel and just get some of those um, paint that's stuck on the brush off and then go back and pull down Tap, pull, so that way you get most of the bubble out. Okay, and then you want to go across. You see those line there, the marble line. I mean, uh, the paint line. It look exactly like marble. So go across. Don't worry about the excess on there and because the more paint you apply on top of that, it will it'll cover up. So basically, sideways, up and down. Same as the, as the old routine. Same step all the time. Okay, remember we are talking about sponge? Um, Gotta add some water on there. Um, go on the sink or grab a can or some, dip it into the water, and it's kind of squeeze it out some of the water out, but don't squeeze too much. Don't leave it on too much. That way, take a lot of ping out. So what you want to do is go over lightly. You see, it start to come off there. That's what you want. And then just use again the technique is the tip, either this side or this side, and it just kind of goes circle, clean the inside part. So it looked like the layer on the green onyx there. Okay, after you got that done, you just go back and forth, up and down. So it's like confusing the the way uh, the uh, um, the line here, and then you just go in circle. So uh, to blend everything in, and and then back to the white. Repeat the process and where you want to put it. I think I want this one probably about right here. Just keep yourself, um, keep yourself some space to work on. Uh, just find some spot to fill in and keep continue until you finish most of the pattern and then move into the next step. Same thing, brush. Tap. 
breaking out those bubbles, remember? If you pull right away, it might run, so you want to tap first, and then dry up your brush, and then now you pull, you go in and you pull down, not too much because you don't want to overlap, overlap the other line on the bottom there. You want to pull as much close as you can, and now just go sideways, lightly. Up and down, sideways, up and down until you start seeing the line start to dry and that's when you take your sponge and kind of kind of take some of those uh, dry spot off. Sponge, go over, you see how the, you know how the sponge wipe up those those uh, loose paint in there and it leave you this nice crease on the side here which is the marble look uh, wave or whatever you call it crease on the on the stone there and then you kind of go through something that you don't like you can take some out and you can still see it blending with the gold very well so, just take it a little more down if you want. You can make this one a little bigger right here. Whatever you like, simple as that. And then, sideways, up and down, circle, blend the bottom together. Okay? Keep repeating this process. I'm going to do a long one this one. I'm going to go from here, right underneath that gold there. In between the gold and the green. Okay. process, tap, don't hold it, just tap down first. Um, it's good to go this way because the way you go this, uh, go side to side, but if you go up and down, it's good to hold sideways. I mean up and down, so now it goes uh, sideways. It's good to hold your brush sideways. Tap. And even though know you have too much pain, wipe some off. Same thing here, tap. There's a lot of pain there. Tap. Okay, remember pull down. Tap and pull down. Okay. Wipe your brush up, start up, down, up, down, kind of put it in the mouth. Now sideways. And don't leave it too long, otherwise you get dried out. It's hard to take those thing out. And you see it start to dry out, so if you leave any longer than those spots there, you're going to have a hard time to get those out. So same, same process, wet sponge, well, not too wet. Um, just go over like this. As you see, it start to form as the uh, 
marble shape look there. And keep continuing so this side uh, doesn't dry out. A lot of process, but you appreciate it after it after it's done. Especially when when you can impress your wife that prove her that she's wrong. That man can always try to do whatever he wanted to do, he'll make it happen. I don't think my wife believed that I can do this. I don't I didn't know that I can do this either. Until last night I tried and tried it and I said, okay, I think it's time to do it. So now that I can do it, I hope this video will help a lot of people. And um, that if you try, you can do pretty much anything. So, sideways, circle, blend them on in. You see those, those crack right there? It, it, it looked like the marble, it lay for thousands thousands of years, lay on top of a layer. So you're not too happy with with a space here, you can always come back with a wet sponge and try to kind of rub them right off. They come right off if you don't wait too long. They'll come right off. See? Just like that. You can do it. Make your wife proud. Don't close that. That's all we got kind of gold here, and then green, and a little lighter, and then uh, green, and then a little bit of gold. So it's kind of blending, blending very well. So, and again, keep repeating the process. Um, this one I'm gonna go, go down here. Same process. Tap, don't pull. Like this one here, you have to tap and pull out because there's a lot of pain there. And because you go upside down, if you keep on tapping without pulling, the pain would drip down. You don't want that. There's a lot of pain here. Wipe your paint brush off, go back to where the paint is about to drip down, tap in and pull it up so it stay up. Try to tap down most of those paint that's still on there. Okay, same process. Go down, up, down, up. Then sideways. See, if you see the line like that, it's okay because um, you're gonna take some out. So keep doing like this until. Start to dry up and then go over the same process with the sponge. Then you have two lines instead of one line. Same process, sponge. Go a little easier in the beginning. So you start to breaking up. And we could stick and flip it over or wrench it off or don't need to get a new sponge because you can always arrange it off. And then you can just 
push it back up a little bit. Yeah, you don't want to go too straight that way it doesn't look real. In the bottom, just yank it down. Up and down. Sideways. And circle. Blend them all in there. You can do it. It's really simple. And now you got all these this uh, overlap on on top of each other. Keep continue the way you do it. Cover the whole wall, and I'm probably gonna be here the whole night. But when it's done, you you appreciate your work more. Um, I think this one that might go here. Same process. This one tap, and this one is pretty thick paint. It look like we waited about to drip here, so uh, you kind of push up and then sideways. Same thing here. A lot of paint. Same as that. You can do it. If somebody say you cannot do it, keep yourself some time to try, play around with it. I know you can do it. I didn't think I can do it. Take practice, my friend. All right, again, up and down. Sideways. Up and down, do it until it looks almost dry. And remember with the brush, you don't have to go around, but only on the sponge. You see, it starts to dry up, so come back with the sponge. And I think I have this one a little bit too dry, but it's okay, it's not so bad. Sponge can use a little more water. Up and down, sideways, circle. Keep going around and around and see which one is need to be highlighted and you know sometimes it's good to take a few steps back and look at and see where you want it to uh, add some highlight. Uh, look like this one here needs some right here. One good thing about green onyx here, if you look at the pattern, you can pretty much find all kinds of stuff on the on their um, pattern. Believe it or not, we have a five plate that I installed about four or five years ago. There's a weird face on the fireplace. At first, it kind of freaked us out because it looked like 
some creature has been dead for thousands of years. But we'll get used to it. So far nothing's going on in our house, so thank God for that one. I don't know what that one looked like, but I'm pretty sure in the bathroom here we'll probably go and after we're done we'll probably find some weird stuff in there. My wife gonna go, probably gonna tell me to erase it. She's superstitious. Up and down, sideways, up and down, sideways. Do it until the color changes, so. And then the sponge, go over a little bit. See, you start to wipe it off, create those pattern look. Believe it or not, this pattern look I created by accident. I uh, applied the paint, it was the wrong paint, and I tried to take it off. And when I tried to take the paint off, it kind of gave me an idea like, hey, you know, if I put this thing overlap, it might look like a green on it fireplace, so maybe I can try to paint the bathroom and impress my wife a little bit. She said, no, that cannot be done. So I try and try and try, go on the YouTube and try to look for some help. Um, there's no green on it. There's a lot of marble painting on YouTube, but I couldn't find any help with green onyx painting, so I keep trying and trying and trying. And last night I was able to break the code by accident. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you never know. You could run into something strange. But anyway, continue what you're doing here. Just highlight some of those. Just want to go down so you can tip it. Um, 
thousands of year algae. Uh, I do as much as I can and go all the way up so I wasn't able to come back and show you guys um, how to put another color on this. So what I did here, I used the green and mix a little bit of brown into so it darked the green out a little bit. Uh, so it won't be so light, so now it becomes dark green. So what I do here, I have two sponge, whoop, two sponge, um, this one, it's, uh, it's wet. Um, I uh, dip it with water and then I rinse up a little bit, so it's not so wet, but it, it's, it's, it's wet enough to, uh, to wipe some stuff out. So now I'm just gonna dip some of the color that I mix gray and green together and kind of wipe over the surface just like that and then come over with a with a wet wet sponge and then make that green look and then again well, I probably don't want to wipe everything on here but I have to. Same thing here. Let's go around and I know more to turn everything green before you apply the next coat. A lot of process, but but you'll enjoy it after you're done. Continue applying all the way around. Got the wet sponge. Okay, you can see the color turn a little bit darker. That's what the color we're looking for. Same thing over this side. Gonna try to get a little water. Sure, all the colors blend in there. You can see it starts to darken it up a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so 
now that we are, are done applying all this color and now we're going to add some weighing into it. So we'll come back in a minute. Alright, so now we're going to switch to um, uh, kind of like gold. I want to say gold. We're going to apply this on there to create a wing look. So we want to start from here. Actually, this is a three-quarter inch brush. So I'm just gonna, you don't have to be exact because you're gonna come back and feel with some other paint on there. Let's continue. And then same process. Now we use a uh, paper towel. Kind of crumble a little bit. And what you want to do, you want to tap on, uh, not tap, but press down and take some of the paint off. And you have to rotate it so the paint doesn't uh, apply on the same spot, and then you have a smear looking. Up, so it's kind of dip, pull, dip, pull. Try to get some of the large paint amount there off. 